I had another experience um, at a new car introduction that truly did scare the living hell out of me. And that took place in probably 1990 when the Audi 80 and 90, as they were then called, were introduced. I mean, so basically we're talking about essentially an upgraded Volkswagen Passat here. They had the introduction at Bridgehampton Raceway in Long Island, which had been closed for a considerable time already, uh, at least as far as pro-level motorsports goes. I think they were still actually having some, some club events there, but that was the absolute limit of it. So Audi rents this place out, and they fly us in. They flew me from Philadelphia to Islip, New York, and I just remember it was a really long time to get to the track. When I got there, uh, they went through the normal introduction, and then they 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 introduced their driver who was going to take us for laps around this place, and, and the driver was Doc Bundy. Doc Bundy was one of the top guns in the IMSA GTP series, so he was used to re- I know he drove for the Corvette IMSA GTP program. So you're talking a twin turbo V6 here would probably on the order of 900 horsepower. And Bridgehampton was a very, uh, in terms of safety and other facilities, I guess you'd call it, Bridgehampton was really primitive. Uh, first of all, it was a disused racetrack. And, and secondly, it was, it was built in an era where there was no consideration for either uh, participant or spectator safety. And Doc gets me in the right seat and just goes absolutely flat to the mat around this place in an Audi 90 Quadro. And I really thought I was going to die. I really did. That was a scary, uh, it it was scary in an entertaining kind of way. And I trusted (laughs) Doc because he was obviously a proven world-class race driver but to be put in that position when you're totally helpless is, I guess it must be, it must in, in some ways parallel with feeling what being born must feel like. I don't know anyone that's comfortable in the passenger seat, you know, in, in, in these race situations. Uh, I was actually talking to Derek Bell about that on one of these shows. And I said, just tell me the truth. Are you okay in the passenger seat or not? He said, no. <laughs> And he understands what's going on. No, no. I managed to scare myself uh, pretty thoroughly on one of those events. And it was um, it was a short lead Chevy introduction in 1996 that was at Road America. And they brought a bunch of experimental engineering bucks for us to drive. But I got to take out a Corvette Grand Sport. And it was a new model that year, if you remember it, with the uh, Chevron type stripes on the front fenders. And they have a succession of people who are waiting to get, in, to, to get inside the car and do at least one lap in it, including myself. So I get aboard this thing and, 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 and head out of the pits. And I'm going down on my very first lap. I'm going down the long back straight at um, Elkhart Lake, which, as you might know, ends in about a 110-degree left-hand first gear corner. Treacherous. Yeah. And I'm about two thirds of the way down the straightaway, just like leg. And I was probably running about 140. And I tapped the brakes and nothing happened. So I tapped them again and it, nothing happened that time either. So by this time, I'm trying to squeeze the brake pedal down to the floor with my left foot while, I'm, while I've, I've just got my, my other foot in the throttle. And the pedal's just going foot going straight to the floor. I got no brakes. There's nothing. You know, the pedal's like completely useless. So when did you decide to take your right foot off the gas? <laughs> right about then. And I managed I managed to like gently squeeze the emergency brake enough to scrub off some speed to the point where I could actually safely downshift the thing without locking up the back wheels and throwing me into a spin. And it wasn't too elegant, but I did manage to make it around the corner in one piece and went straight to the pits and just parked the car. I said, this thing's done. And it was. They didn't use it again that day. Boiled the brake fluid right out of it. The no brakes thing. Yeah, that sound. Yeah. Yeah, that was no fun. But most of the rest of it was. (laughs) 
you're able to extract the positive. Oh, always. This has been Jeff Stearns, Connected Through Cars. 